This video clip, we're going to show you how to make a pineapple spiral. The tools that you need for a pineapple spiral, of course, you need a pineapple. You want one that's firm, not overly ripe. And you also want a nice little top on that, so it gives you a nice garnishing, a nice decoration on the, on the buffet table. You also want a paring knife. This one's a nice, sharp, short paring knife, able to get the V-wedge that we're looking for. That's it. To make the pineapple spiral actually only involves one cut and it's a V cut down the side of the pineapple and it's really cool because Mother Nature provided us for, with a design on which to follow. If you look at the eyes on the pineapple you'll notice that you can follow them straight down, you can follow them across, you can also follow them on a diagonal and that diagonal is what we're going to use here from top all the way down to the bottom to go ahead and do our spiral. What I'm going to do is take the knife and I'm going to start on one edge of that eye that's right here and I'm going to start cutting at an angle it may be no more than about 20 degrees I'm going to cut down into the center of that eye not really deep just at an angle and I'm going to follow those eyes that go at a diagonal the whole way down, just like I said before. Once I get to the bottom, I'm going to shallow it up a little bit, make it a little, a little less steep so it doesn't fall over when it sets up. And I'm going to follow it the whole way back to where it started. You can see the cut starts right up here at the top. I'm going to go ahead and take the knife on the other side and I'm going to go ahead and cut back or the other one that I made and I'm going to cut a V that's going to take those eyes out and in the process I create the spiral now it might be sticking at one place or another and I can just go back with a knife then and remove that area That's basically what we're going to do the whole way around the pineapple. Sometimes I go ahead and I like to leave in a little bit of green space in between so you see that spiral or if I want to clean it up a little bit more I'll cut a little bit beyond that green into the yellow flesh. I'll go ahead and remove that green so all you see is the different elevations of the yellow. So I'm going to go ahead now and cut again. And this time I'm going to leave that little green strip and I'm going to cut the same way I did before. I don't know if you can see here but that pineapple is a little bit ripe right at the bottom there and it's a little harder to cut. I can still do it but it doesn't give you as clean of a look in the finished product. And there you go. There's another spiral and you see like I said you have the green that goes around so it gives a little bit of a design, a little bit of contrast and color and like I said you can take that out too if you want to if you want something different. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and do the same thing around the entire pineapple. So now that I have this totally cut around the outside, you can see where we can arrange this on a buffet and just keep it as is. Or we can actually take this and use this as a piece, a gross piece, which means basically a centerpiece that we can put other things off of. I could go ahead and use this to put fruit kebabs off of, stick little toothpicks or skewers out of this. I could also use it with a tropical seafood or something then you actually even have shrimp sticking out of it. That's your pineapple spiral.